Hello and welcome to this week's video going through and unboxing the Steam Deck. I was one of the first folks who was able to get in the first batch and get their order in. So Steam sent it in a nondescript box with some serial numbers and my address that we went through and taped over. And let's go ahead and unbox it. So as we open this guy up, we can see a bunch of different languages and instructions are to plug it in and then power it on. So that means the battery must be pretty close to dead at the, out of the box. And then thereafter, I can plug in my micro SD card. I got the Steam side and then the settings. Cool, so what do we have in the box? Well, let's start off with the USB wall plug, which is in this box. So from here, let's go ahead and just check it out. Not much going on here. This is the US version, so as we open this guy up, let's see. This should be a USB-C cable, and it's a non-removable cable. And voltage on this is interesting, because it's 5 volt at 3 amp, 9 volt at 3 amp, 15 volt at 3 amp, and 20 volt at 2.25 amps. Interesting enough. So let's see if there's anything else in this box. I'm just trying to remember how this goes. So as we open this guy up, it looks like this other piece of paper is the health and maintenance book in multiple languages. So it talks about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, different frequencies it's on, and then starts talking different languages. Cool. So now we're actually to the deck itself. We can go ahead and move the box out of the way. So it comes inside of the plastic sleeve. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. And once we've opened it, it'll slide out pretty easily. And then you've got this paper that's encircling or encasing it. So if we flip this around, we can actually see there's a valve safety lock or non-tamper lock here. And your outside case has your serial numbers for your device. So I've blurred that out on mine here, but you'll have yours there. You can see this is the Valve deck at the 256 gigabyte version. So let's go ahead and cut this Valve Tamper Evident lock. And another thing is on the decks that are the 250 gigabyte looks like they're just the white silk screen versus the 512 the higher end version comes with the blue and white silk screen so this is the case this way let's flip it to face the right way unzip it and open up the first time so to properly pick up your deck grab this white tab to lift up and that's how you're able to go and grab it so it feels decent in the hand uh, I personally loved my Steam controller, so this is very similar to it on the setup, touch pads, the joysticks, and then on the back you have your four buttons on the back side and your trigger and bumpers as well. You can see the volume and you can see the micro SD card slot on the bottom side. So decent looking device. Let's uh, take a look and let's... There's nothing else in the case here. We can actually flip this guy and see this is where you can store your charging cable behind the elastic. So we'll just pick that up, move it up out of the way for now. And let's do our next step, which is plugging in the power, like it said. And we got to let it charge. So in my case, I had to let it charge for about 10 minutes before it would turn on. So we're going to speed up the video a little bit. And uh, is once it got enough charge, it went through and auto-powered on by itself. I checked multiple times. The white light was indicating that it was charging, but it did finally boot after a few minutes. And so this is day one release software, so there's going to be some changes if you're getting yours later on. First thing that you need to do is choose your language. You can use that with the left uh, knob and then pick your time zone. After you pick your time zone, you can go through and select your Wi-Fi access point. In this case, I'm going to block that out for privacy concerns. So select whichever one that you need. And then after you've selected it, you can go through and enter the password to get onto your Wi-Fi. So 
after you've gone through and done it. This I'm doing all the interface with this via the touch screen, which worked out pretty well, in my opinion. And you can verify that the password's correct. Then from there, click the connect button. It'll go through and try to connect. Click yes, confirm. It's connecting. And then once it's done connecting, it'll click the uh, continue button to move forward. Once you do that on this first time, it's gonna have downloaded the OS updates. And this took about 15 minutes for it to download and then install all the patches and updates that they had issued since they shipped the box. So in the last 15 seconds of this, it's verifying and then it will go through and do a reboot. And after that, it comes back up here after a few minutes because again, it's installing all of these updates that have been going on. This is running a Arch Linux on the back end that's immutable. So anytime there, there's a patch or an update, there are different things that it goes through, rewrites on there, and then locks it back down. So you can't really mess up the OS unless you're really trying hard. So since it did a new update, it's gonna ask you the same questions again. Hey, pick your language, pick your time zone, pick your Wi-Fi, and then it's gonna to get to the point where it's gonna have you sign in. This is gonna be your Steam username and password. And then it's also going to ask you for your verification pin. So from there, you should be able to see your library and the great on deck is the games that are gonna work really well out of the box. So you can see the list of a few games that I already have in my library, and then you can start selecting those to download. Off screen, I did go through and plug in my micro SD card. And at this point, it starts by default installing those to the external micro SD card, which is kind of cool. So you have plenty of space. If you want to install a game, i.e. Uh, Decidi and T, you can go check anything out. But once you get back up to the install button, you can use either your touch pad, the directional pads, or the touch screen to click install. And then, hey, here's the device compatibility. It tells you how well it is or is not gonna work. And then it will then be added to your download queue, which you can go through and at this very top icon next to the search bar, there's actually the Wi-Fi symbol or whatever game it's currently downloading in your download queue. So you can see I got a few things queued up here and it's just downloading. So this downloaded for about four to five hours because I got it in about three o'clock in the afternoon and then did all the patches and updates and then just started downloading games. So this video is just gonna be focusing on the unboxing experience, getting it up and running for the first time. And I'll get to start reviewing the process of uh, using the Steam, the, the Steam Deck the way that I bought it for, which is running a lot of different Linux programs, running with flat packs, but I will say, so far, the gaming on it has been phenomenal. I'm really enjoying it. And the flat packs and being able to run VMs out of the box has been a lot of fun. So with that, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe.